Okay, welcome back, peoples. Yeah. Uh, Today, I'm going to go ahead and show you my awesome... This is the end of the games I'm going to show y'all, sadly, because I'm already in the tail end of everything. So, what I'm going to show you are all the handheld games I got over the past couple of weeks. And that'll be it. After this, no more games until I go find some more, which will be random and hard, I'm guessing. But, regardless, it'll be okay. We'll live, but... All these games I'm going to show you are from Game Boy Advance to the DS and a little bit of Vita, I'm guessing. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Uh, it's weird. I don't know if any of y'all out there have Game Boy Advance games. For me, I missed out a lot on Game Boy Advance because that was at a time when I was younger. I was in school. Um, I was just a kid. I did not know any better. There was no way, for, no way for me to go to get games or buy games. There's no way for me to do that. So, um, it's way different as I am today. I could go and find stuff. It's just harder because you can't find Game Boy Advance games no more. The only way you could get one of these is um, finding them online, basically. Or you'll be real lucky to find them because I was real lucky to find all of these. They were in. I got all these at a pawn shop and. They don't show their handheld games for some reason, like the loose ones. They just had them in a box under the table. And, you know, one day I just asked, hey, do you have any, like, Game Boy games or, like, whatever? And at first I thought he was just going to walk off. And I was like, I was going to be mad. But, nah, he walked. Oh, he did walk off. But he grabbed the box and he just laid it on the table. It was a big box full of freaking games. And he said, yeah, no one asked for them, so... We never took them out, and it's a hard it's hard to show them because you can't display freaking Game Boy games very well, especially these, which I'll explain to how I'm going to do that too. So, I was real lucky. I found a whole bunch of games, and I got them actually really cheap because they were charging them for like $4, $6 each. I said, if I get a whole bunch, like, you know, a, quite a bit, can I just get a discount? He said, yeah. So, I managed to get all these for like $2 each or... Um, like the newer stuff like the DS $3 each three or four dollars each so that's amazing deal so let's go and get into it um, the first one I'm gonna show you I'm just gonna show you this one Final Fantasy 4 Advance now Final Fantasy 4 is one of my favorite games RPG I'm gonna definitely keep this in my collection um, because you know it's real sentimental and stuff because I have a lot of different versions of these uh, and they're all have to stay in my collection because even though they're the same game they're different um for example this is the original release of the game boy advance i mean of the final fantasy 4 because it was originally released on the super nintendo they ported it to the game boy advance with some extras and this is the best way to play that version the definitive way to play that version because this is the old school look the old school 2d look which is awesome the other ver two versions that I am also have in my collection, there's the PSP version, which is also 2D version like this, but it's updated with better graphics, more stuff, you know, more everything, updated uh, updated um, script for the game and everything and stuff like translation, I mean. So that's, have to, that's a must keep. The third one is the DS version, which is in my collection and I'm going to keep also because that one's the, it's the same game. But it's in 3D. Instead of a 2D format, it's in 3D format, which is awesome. And there's voice acting and its own extras. So, And I heard that that version's the hardest version out of all the games. So this is an amazing game. One of my favorites. And I'm glad I found that. Next, we have Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario Advance 2. Um, this is basically the Super Mario World from Super Nintendo onto the Game Boy Advance of Extras. I'm not sure about these. I don't know if I'm a keep or just sell it. Uh, I'm not really sure, so that's a maybe. Next, Yoshi's Island, uh, Super Mario Advance 3. Basically, um, Yoshi Island from the Super Nintendo on the Game Boy Advance. The same thing, just like the other one. I don't know if I'm keep. I'm no. I don't know if I'm gonna sell it. Uh, I don't really care for the Yoshi Island game. I play because I was playing it, but mm, doesn't really do much. So I might just sell this. Next. Uh, the original PlayStation mascot, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, this is the huge adventure. Not much to say. It's a Crash Bandicoot game. Um, not something I'll keep in my collection. No doubting it. I might get the new version that's coming out on the PS4 and everything, but I'm not going to keep that one. 
Now these last two right here I have right in my hands. Yu-Gi-Oh! This one's World Championship Tournament 2004 and this one's Worldwide Edition Stairway to Destiny Duel. Destin Duel. Uh, I checked these out. I can't play these. Um, they're straight up the straight up card game and stuff, but I can't get into it. I, I guess it's because the it's the limited power that the Game Boy Advance can do. Because I remember playing, I really loved playing the PS2 version of a Yu-Gi-Oh game, and I think the reason why I like that is because it's more streamlined. You could just click it, and I remember the monsters were showing everything. This one, you have to go through so many stuff just to do basic stuff. So I, this is just gonna be uh, resales. Even though I do love the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I love the anime and everything, but I'm just going to use that to try to get extra money to buy something else I want. Next. Now, this is actually an amazing find. Wario Land 4. Now, I heard that this is one of the best games that ever came out for, like, you know, not in, I mean, in general, like, these are one best play, playing games. Like, the design and everything. Like, if you want to know how to play a video game, go check this out. That's what I heard. That's what I read up on. I'm not sure. But Wario always have weird games. This one, it's not a mini game. It's more of a, it's like a Mario game, but it's more puzzle-like. And, you know, you're just going through the monsters and looking for stuff. It's a real cool game, but I think I might just sell it, you know, because, I mean, it's not really much of a big deal for me. But, yeah. Now, this one. I got Yu Yu Hakusho Spirit Detective. I used to have this game when I was younger. This is an RPG game, just like think of the Dragon Ball games I was on the Game Boy Advance and stuff like that. I love this game as a kid. Today, it's dated big time. I mean, I, I was thinking, damn, how did I enjoy this game when I was a kid? It's funny because I was just checking it out and it's dated. And honestly, I'm going to keep this in my collection. And you're probably wondering, why would you keep this in your collection and not like the Mario games or Worldlands? I don't know. I think it's just because it's in the genre that I like. I love RPG games, and that's one of my main rules. Cause, like, if you look at my collection, a lot of them are just RPG games, and um, you know, anime games, and those are just the ones I really enjoy. Uh, I don't know about these other ones right here, but for it's not about like my collection. It's not about rarity or like whatever. It's stuff that I enjoy. Even though I enjoy both these games like this one back in the day and this one. It's just I did enjoy this. Uh, I'm going to play this again. I was playing it like I got through the first two areas and, and it shows that I do enjoy it. Even though it's bad, I do enjoy it. So I'm just going to have this in my collection also. Next. Now this one's amazing fun. Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury. Which, it's funny because I got part one. I just need part two just to finish this collection right here. I love these games. I remember I bought this when I was a kid. I, oh my god, I love this type of game. Because it's Dragon Ball Z RPG format. Going around just fighting and then like action RPG. It's cool. I'm glad I have this in my collection. Awesome. Uh, next. Sword of Mana. Amazing game. This this is one of my favorite genres. Freaking, it's RPG, but this is action RPG, which is amazing. But Sword of Mana, that's going to stay in the collection. Tales of Fantasia. Another, like, you know, rare, like it's a hard-to-find game and everything. Uh, this is awesome. I don't know much about this, um, just from what I heard, but I'm glad to get this. Uh, eventually, I'll get onto it eventually when I have time whenever i have plans to get into these games again but yeah so another thing to my collection and those are all my game boy advance games right there and one thing is i'm gonna have these in my collection i'm gonna put them on my shelf but you're probably wondering how you're gonna display these because these are hard to display because you know you just the only way you can have them stand there like this and you can't really see what they are unless it's face up. So my plan is I'm going to go ahead. You can order DS cases online. So I'm going to order DS cases because those are the best way to hold these games. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these games in there. And I'm going to have a printer right here. I'm going to go ahead and print out 
um, the covers for them because there's a website where you can get the covers and just print them out. The only hard thing is just trying to figure out dimensions because I had trouble trying to figure that out, but um, I'll get through it. But yeah, that, that's the plan I'm going to use to get these, you know, so I can have them in display and have them in my collection. And the rules for these, though, is it's going to be impossible to get these complete because... You can't find these complete no more. If you do, you're lucky, and it's more likely going to be super expensive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the game, but the main rule is make sure that the cover is intact, like the picture. Make sure it's good. Make sure it's great. Um, you know, it could be a little dingy because you can't really help it. These are really old games, and there's no way to keep them protected very well. So, you know, it, it varies about it. But that's basically my main rule because you can't find a man or anything. So that's it. It's just going to be this, the box with a printed out cover. So those are my plans for the Game Boy Advance. And that even goes for, like, you know, the D say DS games. It'll even go for those, but I'm going to try to find those complete because you can still find those complete if you get them online and stuff. So let's go ahead and get into these. All these are DS games. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get into them. Okay, this one's called, it's a DS game, it's Siberia, as you can see right there. Now, I heard a lot of crazy stuff about this, like it's an indie game and stuff, they got, they poured it into the DS, I heard a lot of good stuff about it, that it's a real good game. Sadly, I can't get it to run, I don't know if it's dirty or what, but I'm probably going to have to get some alcohol and just try to clean the little sensors things, hopefully I can get this to run. But I I like if I could get it to run, I might just keep it in my collection because I heard that it's a real good game, and I might just you know I can't really I'm not know for sure because I haven't got to play it or none. Next, now this I don't know because these are actually kind of expensive games right. This is Pokemon White Two. Awesome finds. Um, Honestly, I'm not sure about these games. I I'm I'm at a weird place with Pokemon games because I the original Pokemon Red, Yellow, Blue, um, Fire Red, um, Leaf Green. I'll keep those games. I play them. These games right here, I'm not sure because I don't know nothing about them, the Pokemon or anything like that. And like right now, all I want to do is try to like some of these games. I want to sell. And I want to try to make a profit and use that to, you know, to better my situation right now. You know, buy new stuff. You know, like, I'm trying to go into a way of trying to make money off of selling different stuff. That's what I'm trying to do right now. But, like, this right here, you could, I could, like, I this, the turnaround with this is really good. I could try to make a good couple of dollars with this. It's just I don't know if I should keep it or not. That's the main thing. So, I'm not sure because... I have Pokemon X, which I was going to probably just sell, but I started playing it and I beat it. I beat the Elite Four and it's just that, I don't know, I just don't know, it's difficult, but I have this right here. Uh, it's a hard decision. Next, uh, Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Um, not much to say, it's just Zelda. Never played it. I don't know if I might, I might just sell it, I'm not sure, because you know. It's one of those what if games right there. Next, I got Spectral Force Genesis. Uh, this is like a strategy, like board type game, RPG type game. And um, I don't know, I'm on the fence about this and I'm not sure. I might, I might not. Um, I found out that you could actually get the deal, like you could actually get this game complete really cheap. So I might just sell this and find, get the complete edition. I'm not sure. This was actually neat fine. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Recoded. Just like the other ones. I mean, like for me, I like to collect Kingdom Hearts games. A lot of people are like hesitant with this one because it doesn't add to anything. It's just like a rehash of the first game. Just to make it better understandable for today's people than it did for back in the day when it was first came out. Uh, I might just sell this one and just be on the lookout for a complete edition. I'm not sure. But... This is Kingdom Hearts Recoded. Here's another game. Pokemon Platinum. 
man these games are freaking i was lucky to find these games for the price they were but i'm not sure because do i keep it for me to play in a future ref like a future time or and keep it in my collection and just sell it because i can make quite a bit with these pokemon games i'm just not sure it's a hard dilemma next super mario 64 ds i think this is a double I think I have two of these. I'm not sure. But if I do, I might just sell this one. I mean, I will sell that one. Don't know much about this one. It's Lost Magic. I think I have... An, I think this is a second one I got. Uh, I'm not sure. If I recall, it's an RPG game. Or like some type of action game, if I recall. But if it's a double, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Okay. New Super Mario Bros. I'm definitely going to trade this or sell it later because I do have a complete version of this. Um, this was... I, <laughs> my Mario games, I only played the games from the Super Nintendo and that. I never played the Wii games of it, like the Galaxy or anything. Uh, this one I was talking about in one of my other videos was I popped this one in because it's the new Super Mario Bros. for ideas. It came out in like 2004, 2005. I played this actually like two months ago, three months ago, two months ago, and I completed it. I loved it. Um, I'm keeping the complete one in my collection because, you know, it's a Mario game. And, you know, it's kind of hard because, you know, it's the same as the Game Boy Advance. It's just, I don't know, I'm just iffy or something. But, yeah, Super Mario, awesome find. Next. Now, this is just going to be a straight-up sale. It's a 3DS game. It's Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Um, it's a Lego game, and I was interested in Lego games, but I think I just want to get the ones that are on the consoles and not on the handhelds. So, I might just go ahead and sell this one. Now, we're going to PS Vita games. Found Soul Sacrifice. Um, I'm just going to sell this because I have a complete version, but an awesome find. Batman Blackgate. Uh, same thing. I'm going to sell it. But um, I don't have it in my collection. But you could also play this on the PS4. You know, on the console. So I don't think. I, like, if, if you could play it on the consoles, I'm more likely just going to sell the handheld version. And the next one, Injustice. And just the same thing. You could play this on the. Um, you could play this on the console. So I'm just going to sell this one too. And that's it. Now, if anything about this whole um, lot I have right here that I showed y'all is that it's a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to keep some of it. Um, like, there's some, like, the like say, the Tales of Fantasia and all that. I'm going to keep those. It's just that it's a what if with all these Pokemon games because, I mean, I would keep them, but also in the need of some money. So, I'm not, I don't know. But that's just how it is when you're hunting. I mean, you never know. You might find another one. You might find a complete one. But that's just how the game works. That's how, like, the whole um, finding stuff works, basically. You know, it's all in the game, just finding things and stuff like that. And that's basically it. But in all, I was real lucky to find all these games for the prices they were. So that's a cool deal and everything. And there's not much to say. It's just that now... I just need to go ahead and, you know, because I'm building up the whole Game Boy stuff, I don't really have none of the stuff I need, like the DS cases or anything to put my games in. So I'm just going to keep them in like a little box for right now. But those are like, you know, get, I have to get everything set up. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please comment down below on your thoughts. Uh, like the video. Share the video. I have a Facebook. It's in the description below. Um, a fan page or something like that. So check that out. I usually post pictures of my finds. Or, you know, I might just do random talk about or something, you know, and stuff like that. So check that out. Uh, like always, people, I'll see you all next time. Y'all take care. And enjoy your day, peoples.